Sonny Wharton gives us five tips to starting a record label. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission, and today on The Big Question, I welcome Wartone Records boss, Sonny Wharton. Wartone Records will celebrate their 10th anniversary, and I thought I'd get Sonny on to chat about how to start a record label. And he's gonna give us five tips in our, in our Big Question series for starting a label. For those that have not been here before, Data Transmission, uh, Data Transmission's YouTube is essentially for helping you learn more about being in, the, being in the music industry. We speak to industry heads, we speak to DJs, and get them to give you advice and tips. But we also have a our own tip series for myself. I'm the editor-in-chief of Data Transmission, and I've been in the music industry for 15 years. So, uh, previously on the big question, we have had people like Kevin Mackay from Glasgow Underground, Camel Fat, Andy C, George Smedals, Timmy Regisford, recently Mullinex was a really good one. If you've not seen that one, watch it on how to prepare your um, playlists for DJing. I'll drop that in the card. Before we dive into this big question, uh, if you find value from these, please share it with your friends, please share it with other DJs. If you want to get these videos first, then you know the jazz, smash the bell, comment, like, share, all that stuff. It really means the world to us and it's really helpful for us to grow this channel and, for all, and helps us learn what you want to know um, because then we can make more videos about it. Let's dive into this video. Hey Sonny, can you give us your five tips for starting a label? Hey guys, uh, Sonny Wharton here and uh, Data Transmission and Graham have asked me to share five things you need to know before starting a label with you. Um, so we're celebrating 10 years of Wartone Records this year and um, I guess this is a bit of an insight into perhaps some of the things uh, we thought about right back at the beginning uh, before we set the label in motion. Uh, so yeah, first and foremost, uh, number one, I guess what is your label representing? You need to be quite um, clear on what you want the label to uh, portray and uh, musically and artistically, you know, a clear definition of where it's going to sit in the marketplace, um, what style of music, what genre, and, uh, you know, is that um, is that representative of you as an artist as well? Um, if you're using a label as a platform to push your own music, you know, it needs to correlate to that and be quite cohesive in uh, musical direction. So that's um, something to think about at the beginning. Um, also, under that, you kind of want to know what the name's going to be and uh, what the branding is as well. Um, you know, it needs to have a quite, uh, quite a clear sort of look. Um, and I guess with so much music and stuff out there already, you know, you want to try and find uh, a place for where your label's going to sit in that. So, uh, yeah, branding and name um, that is representative of you and um, I guess also artwork and stuff so yeah what is your label representing uh, you need to answer that first and foremost um, secondly arguably the first thing um, should be the music really you know what is the music is, is that is that you is that your music as an artist um, is it your friends and peers is it other artists that you're getting sent music from that you want to uh, showcase um, that's certainly the the sort of starting point for for Wartone as a label. I was getting sent so much music from uh, friends and peers, and I kind of wanted to help um, sort of present that um, to to people to listen. So um, so I set up Wartone with that in mind, as well as a platform for my own music, but also to uh, to share their music. Um, so with that in mind, you need to sort of have a bit of forward thinking and probably set in place perhaps at least uh, the first six months worth of releases. You know, that only maybe needs to be six or seven releases, maybe one, once a month to start with to get the label up and running, but certainly have that in mind. Um, you're gonna need the music ready to go. And uh, again, tying in with what your label's representing uh, prior to this point, you need to make sure it all sort of correlates and works together and there's synergy there between the tracks. Um, third point, I guess, would be route to market and uh, things like distribution. You know, are you a physical label? Are you a digital label? Are you a bit of both? You need to look into what's most relevant there. Um, you need to be able to get your music out in the marketplace, and you know you can self-release it on things like Bandcamp and such. But um, you know you're going to have a certainly on a small level, you're going to have a restricted uh, reach to audience there. So um, look into the best ways of getting your music out there. Um, 
to the relevant stores um you know whether if it's digital you know whether that's just beatport track source and itunes um obviously you're going to need to look at streaming avenues as well with apple and Deezer and spotify so um it's worth exploring your options obviously it'll be different things relevant to whether you're physical and digital and different stores are more focused on certain genres so again depends what your musical genre is um but speak to companies like Labelworks who are able to offer a, you know really all-encompassing solution for distribution um so yep that's your third point um fourth i guess a strategy really um you know look at your short-term strategy where you want to be going with it over the next 12 months or so uh, what the plan is to that um, maybe set a goal 12 months down the line and then work backwards and you'll be able to quite clearly see how to get to that point. Um, and then past that, you know, the next five years, maybe the next 10 years, like we're celebrating now, you know, where do you want um, the label to expand to? Um, do you ultimately, as well as the music alongside, do you want to be running events, you know, label showcasing and events? Um, we're doing around our 10 years um, album launch. We're doing a series of 10 shows across different countries in the world um and that's going to tie in with the the 10 year anniversary for water and so yeah certainly have um a strategy in place of where you want to go with it and uh make sure you try and stick to that um and fifth point i guess probably not the most fun point of it but the admin side of things contracts uh, accounting um publishing royalties to the artist these are all really really important fundamentals and you need to make sure you're on top of that because you know, once you're 12 months down the line and you've got, I don't know, 10, 12, maybe even 20 releases, um, you need to make sure you're able to account to your artists. This contract's in place and, you know, you're able to pay everyone what's what's due to them because they've invested in you as a label, um, you know, with their time and music and you want to make sure that they're uh, compensated properly with the royalties that they're due. So, uh, again, that's a really important um, part to get in place, probably from the beginning, look into the contract side of things and... Uh, look into how you're able to um, how you're able to account your royalties to the artist. Again, companies like Labelworks and such uh, offer these sort of services within the distribution models as well. So, look into all that. Um, but first and foremost, really, just make sure you know where you want to go with the label, uh, what the music's about, and um, yeah, enjoy it and have fun. Hope some of that helps, guys. Um, look forward to hearing from you. If you want to hit me up with any questions directly, hit me up probably best on Instagram at Sonny Wharton. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you. See ya. Thanks again for watching the big question series today. Thanks, Sonny, for those tips. They were blinding. Congratulations on celebrating 10 years for Wartone. It's really an achievement. I'm really, it's really impressive. Um, big, big love, mate. And thanks. And join us again next time for more tips and advice from Data Transmission. I'm Graham Farmer, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, bye bye.